Hello everybody, welcome back to another martial arts video with RG Martial Arts. Today we're going to be discussing something different from the usual tutorials, martial arts and workout content. So put away your exercise clothes, your doggies and get into something more comfortable. Okay, maybe not that comfortable. All right, now we're talking. So let's get straight to the point. Today we are going to be discussing my top eight martial arts literature recommendations. So you might be sitting in these difficult times during this COVID-19 situation. Some of you might be able to train less than others, but there is always a way to educate yourselves about martial arts or anything and that is through literature. That is one way that you can do it and today I will be helping you by recommending some of my favorite books that I have read and experienced. I hope you find this video helpful and you enjoy it. Let's get straight into it. All right guys, so I am going to go through this in no particular order of importance. Uh, one thing to mention is that these are all books that I have read, so that is guaranteed. I'm not going to recommend something that I haven't personally read or, you know, uh, experienced. So that is something to be sure of. And second of all, yes, a lot of people will say, what about this book? What about this book? Don't worry. These are my personal recommendations and I wanted to mix it up, you know, not always only the old classics. I have some very classic ones here. I have some modern ones. I have ones that cover all martial arts. So not just Kyokushin, I have boxing, mixed martial arts, kickboxing. So just, you know, see how it is. Try some of them out. The first one I'm going to talk about is Musashi by Eiji Yoshikawa. So um, Musashi is known as one of the greatest swordsmen in Japanese history and you know swordsmen ever to live and he's very famous for his philosophy obviously his his swordsmanship and generally his his wisdom and his lifestyle and his whole story. So Eiji Yoshikawa basically sums this up in a sort of a mix between fiction and non-fiction and he has researched Miyamoto Musashi very well and basically put it into this novel. Now it's a very very thick book but it's definitely worth a read and you basically go through his his life story and his all of his fights and his little you know even some romance everything about him so I definitely recommend that just even for someone who's looking for a good novel to read and it, it motivates you it, it, it is great read number two this is a more classic one and I think this may require a bit more you know thinking and 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 because some of these concepts are a bit more abstract we have mind training for the martial arts by dr clive layton so the good thing about this book is that it really guides you through some exercises that you can actually do to improve your you know your mental aspect of martial arts so for example the the different ways that you can visualize before a fight the different exercises you do before to prepare for a fight to generally be more aware of your surroundings and it it it's, has a very easy to follow and practical approach with exercises and description so i would if you get your hands on this i would definitely recommend this one Number three, now this is the more modern one and this will obviously, some of you will say, oh, I didn't know you were a fan of him. I am not a fan of Conor McGregor, but this, uh, now I have this one in German. I believe the title in English is Win or Learn by coach John Kavanagh. And he's basically, he's the coach of Conor McGregor. But what is so great about this book is that it gives you a slightly different perspective of Conor McGregor. Not, I, I'm totally not interested in all of his money, fame, uh, success, you know, there, there's enough of that in this world. But this book really covers how from the beginning, how they trained, that's what interests me, you know. How is it? And he really describes the whole experience of coaching, training, 
and and how he built up the whole mixed martial arts scene in Ireland and how it resulted in fame around the world. So I think that is definitely a great book to read, especially if you're looking to get into martial arts or mixed martial arts as a career. And it's generally a very good uh, insight into how it is. All right, number four. So number four, this again is one of the treasures of martial arts it's some people criticize it for being too shallow and you know not covering enough but this is a really good entry point for anyone looking to get into martial arts literature because it covers it's called the martial arts reader and so the martial arts reader is basically a compilation of classic writings philosophy and techniques and so I'm just going to tell you some of the authors that are in here. We have Bruce A. Haynes, Kurt Singer, Noel Perrin, Francis L. Hawks, A.J. Harrison, John Stevens, so on, so on. But basically what you have in this book is uh, extracts from all of these very, very famous classic novels. If you don't want to read all of them and, you know, some of you might get bored reading all these long classic novels but this basically picks out all the interesting parts from all these novels and the, the the philosophies techniques and like i said the writings the classical writings that are important for you to understand so i really recommend this one the martial arts reader the i think the publisher is the overlook and this one is edited by randy f nelson i'll make sure to leave all the details in the description below Number five, so this one is really hard to get your hands on and I'm really sorry, it's kind of cruel for me to mention this because I was lucky enough that my dad got this when he was back in Japan and uh, that was the time, you know, he was training in the Hombu Dojo with Mazutatsu Oyama but this is the original What is Karate by Mazutatsu Oyama and this book um, along with, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you number six this is karate so also by Mazutatsu Oyama these two books are basically the holy grail of Kyokushin karate so these cover all the history philosophy all the techniques all the Japanese names katas stances everything you can imagine so these are really really valuable but if you can somehow get your hands on them I believe you can find them on ebay make sure to go through this if you are interested in kyokushin karate there's nothing better than these two original texts written by mazutatsu oyama himself and so once again what is karate and this is karate and he published a third one as well uh, if you can find that that would also be a great read all right we're getting to the end number seven so number seven is a book that I only have in E form. So I have it on my phone here. It's basically the martial arts of the world. And this is an encyclopedia of history and innovation in the martial arts by Thomas A. Green and jo Joseph R. Svint. So what's so great about this book is that it covers the entire history of martial arts. It's really well researched and you go from continent to continent and you learn about all these interesting martial arts around the world that you've probably never heard of and it's just fascinating to read this. This one, uh, I think you can find it online as a PDF if you just search it up. Um, I, I personally got it from a friend but I will try and find some resources and leave them in the descriptions below. All right, number eight and the last book that I want to recommend. Now this it has been one of my personal favorites just because it's written by one of my idols in the martial arts, the mixed martial arts fighter and UFC champion, George St. Pierre or GSP. Uh, the book is called The Way of the Fight. Now this book, really really inspired me and it was one of my first you know reads from the martial arts and he basically tells his whole story from when he was a child and how he got into martial arts and he really describes in detail of how he got onto the scene how he trained who he trained with his experiences and really closely describing all of his emotions and his basically his path to success 
and uh, it, it, it's a very inspirational book and I think he's just such an amazing guy that I would really recommend you to read this book. All right guys, so that is just eight for today. Uh, I would gladly do another video covering some more literature, some more classic or modern literature depending on what you guys uh, want me to do. You can leave that in the comments below and I would gladly do that again. Um, so yeah, remember, you know, if you cannot train as much, there's always a way to educate yourself. Even if you're not into the martial arts or just slightly interested, I would really recommend reading these, some of these. For example, Musashi by Eiji Yoshikawa. You don't need to be fascinated by martial arts at all. It is just a beautiful piece of Japanese literature. And yeah, so continue educating yourself. That's part of this journey. And guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, Please subscribe to my channel. You see this circle over here. Click that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends. Please follow us on social media, on Instagram. I post a lot of content every day. I work really hard on that. And yeah, thank you guys. See you on my next video. Take care.